Let's get down to it. Tell the Red Shrike to hold position until they're patched. They're not doing us any good. Yes, sir. And get those engineers a shuttle. Morphin here. Darth Malgus sent us. The Strike Force, yes. It's an honor to have you with us. Let me assure you that my fleet and I are here as your support. You will lead in the Emperor's name, and the people shall follow. The Empire and the Mandalorians working side by side again. It is a good day. Tell Darth Malgus we're ready. This is Darth Malgus to the Imperial Strike Force. The Emperor's prisoner, the escaped Jedi Master, has unwittingly led us to the Nanthri system. That is the location of the Foundry, an ancient alien space station embedded inside an asteroid. The full capabilities of the Foundry remain a mystery, but the Jedi Master who discovered it will do anything to protect it. The Republic fleet is already on guard. Those Republic dogs are as good as dead. We are en route to intercept a Republic cruiser carrying supplies and reinforcements to the Foundry. We will immobilize the cruiser with a tractor beam. You shall lead the boarding party. Once the cruiser is captured, you can use it to slip past the Republic defenses and infiltrate the Foundry itself. Now you'll get to see what bounty hunters are all about. Once you have the cruiser and begin your attack on the Foundry, we will engage the Republic directly. You must not underestimate the Republic defenses, or the Foundry's Jedi Master. He is the greatest threat, but your will is stronger. We're in range of the Republic cruiser, attempting to lock tractor beams. We have them. Get to the airlock and take that ship. It's the only way we can reach the Foundry. Captain Yelto to the Imperial boarding party. I admit, you have us outnumbered and outgunned. You know we're not going to escape. Tell your crew to stand down and turn command over to me. I don't think so. This vessel is powered by a Type 4 Hypermatter Annihilator. Right now, I'm disabling the safeties and rigging it to self-destruct. In a few minutes, you, me, my ship, and half your fleet will be reduced to stardust. A few minutes is all I need to take control. I have my doubts. Yelto out. Area is secure. Get the tech team. Shut down the self-destruct. Blast you. All of you, get off my bridge! Is this some great victory to you? Using a fleet to capture one ship? You will give us access to the Foundry, and that could change everything. If it does, it won't be with our help. I'm not telling you anything, and I'm not begging for the lives of my crew. I know about the massacres of the last war. All boarding parties report success. Should we begin executions? Kill them all. Fear will ensure the Empire's strength. Acknowledged. Bloody work, but necessary. When the operation is complete, we'll broadcast the names and faces of the dead as a warning to the galaxy. More importantly, the cruiser is ours. Preparing it for the assault on the foundry and its Jedi Master now. Any more information on the enemy defenses? We're pulling that data from the cruiser computers. In the meantime, I offer congratulations and suggest you return to the flagship. Darth Malgus wants to speak to his strike force. Morphineer, you said Malgus wanted to talk. Yes, while we're refitting the Republic cruiser. You have done well, all of you. Had we such strength in the last war, the Treaty of Coruscant might not have been needed. We're honored, my lord. But now, a greater challenge awaits. I have studied the information from the Republic vessel, and I am now certain of the Foundry's nature. 
What have you discovered, Lord Malgus? The Foundry specifications match those of three other space stations known by history. Each of these legendary stations could manufacture technology on a massive scale. One Xenoformed planets, another built fleets of ships. The Starforges? The Foundry creates endless armies of droids, commanded by the Foundry's Jedi Master, a man very likely mad after his long imprisonments. If this man controls the Foundry's armies, we need to know how he thinks. At his prime, he was a powerful warrior, a general and a skilled tactician. A legend to some. Now, I cannot say. Moff you may proceed. The Foundry is built into an asteroid surrounded by the Republic fleet. The cruiser we captured should pass their blockade without interference. You will fly the cruiser directly to the Foundry and lead the ground assault, while our ships jump from hyperspace to engage the fleet. The Foundry will be ours, and you will eliminate the Jedi Master. Not every day you fight a 300-year-old Jedi. It is a privilege I envy you. Glory to the Sith, and to the Emperor. Helmsman, set course for the Foundry. Acknowledged. Laying in course. Any words to the crew before the assault? Those who do my bidding will win the favor of the Sith. That is all you need to know. Course set. Engaging hyperdrive. Transmitting authorization codes to the Republic fleet. They're allowing us to pass the blockade. Approaching the foundry. Receiving transmission. This is landing control to Republic cruiser Doran Sky. You're six hours off schedule. Is there a problem? I won't be interrogated by some peon. Get out of my way so I can land the ship and make my report to your superiors. I'm sorry, sir, but I... Look, I can bring you into dock, but you'll need to remain aboard the ship. I can't clear you. We're docked. Estimate two minutes until our fleet arrives and the battle begins. If I may be so bold, I suggest you take the offensive. Stop. It's time we talked. I am the master of the Foundry, once the Emperor's prisoner, now the man you've come to destroy. You have my complete undivided attention. Three hundred years ago, I found your empire in the stars and stood against the Emperor himself. I was betrayed, defeated. I paid the price as the Emperor ravaged my mind over centuries. But I gave him nothing. I am proof that the Dark Side can be resisted. I'm a bounty hunter. Dark and light aren't worth much in my business. This isn't just about Jedi and Sith. I've seen the Emperor's corruption. He and everything he's built must be destroyed or the galaxy will suffer forever. You don't need to die with him. Surrender, and you can wait out this war as comfortable prisoners. Life as a prisoner wasn't good enough for you. You really think I'm gonna give up? I hoped. You leave me no choice but to turn the Foundry against you. These machines are extermination droids. My infinite army. Farewell. Exceedingly sporting during our hunt. I am HK-47, the Master's most faithful ally. Once a mere assassin droid, it is now my burden and joy to command the Foundry's mechanical armies. I didn't think Jedi believed in assassination or built droids to do their dirty work. Commentary. I am often pleasantly surprised by my master's moral compass. The extermination droids are my master's crowning achievement. 
They are equipped with bioscanners capable of detecting Sith genetic material. Any organics with Sith ancestry will be slaughtered. This includes 97.8% of the Imperial population. So, when you wipe out half the galaxy, I'll be one of the survivors. Commentary. Unfortunately for you, the Master still wants you dead. Your bones will make excellent trophies to commemorate my return to assassination. Prejudice set to maximum. That HK unit you destroyed. He waited loyally for 300 years. I can rebuild him, but it won't be the same. Can't you see you're on the wrong side? The Emperor is death. For you, for me, for the galaxy. Listen to yourself. If you use the Foundry to exterminate billions, how are you any better? I'm doing this to save lives, not for glory. I will mourn for the dead and do what I must. As a young Jedi, I went to war. I accepted violence and darkness, and the Emperor called to me from across the galaxy. He made me a Sith Lord and named me Darth Revan. I killed for him. I turned on the Republic. But I have found redemption. On Drum and Kass, there was a cult founded in your honor. So I've heard. Not what I would have wanted, given the things I did. I nearly destroyed the Republic, and that nearly destroyed me. When the Jedi returned me to the light, my memory was shattered. It took me years to track and confront the Emperor again. I tried to end him, and he murdered my companions and locked me away. Trying to justify destroying a whole culture to yourself, or just hoping to bore me to death. That's enough! All those years in his prison, I could feel him in my mind, drawing on my connection to the Force. But I was in his mind too fighting him. Only I've been both Jedi and Sith, and found clarity in the Force. Only I understand him, and his death is my responsibility. You think you're the only Jedi who's ever fallen? You're one of thousands, Revan. And you're more deluded than most. Think what you want. It doesn't matter. I've saved the Republic twice before. I've fought Mandalores and armies of the Dark Side. You won't stop me. This is station control to the Imperial fleet. The Foundry is ours. Fantastic news, my lord. We lost good men in the fleet battle, but we're mopping up the last of the Republic ships now. I assume the Jedi Master has also been eliminated. That Jedi Master used to be a Sith called Darth Revan. Yes. That's a matter we should discuss in person. As soon as we're secure, we'll conference with Darth Malgus aboard the flagship. You have my congratulations and my admiration. Fenir out. The battle is won, my lord. The Foundry is ours. And it shall be a fine weapon, once wielded properly. This is how the Empire will prevail. Not only through superior armament, but through superior individuals. Without your team, we could never have struck such a blow, or defeated the heretic Revan. You could have told me who the Foundry's master really was. Revan has followers within the Empire, and the secret had to be kept. I apologize if you feel ill-used. Three centuries ago, Revan was strong in the dark side. A fallen Jedi the Emperor took an interest in. But he rebelled, and had to suffer. Now his story is ended. He would have destroyed the Empire, given a chance. Our teams are going over the Foundry. It'll take some work, but everything should be salvageable. Even the HK unit, if we bother. It may have useful memories, and it could be upgraded. Regardless, we have a new army, and a victory for the ages. One to prove no would-be Sith or Jedi Master is a match for the Empire. Celebrations have begun on Dromund Kass, and soon the cheers of the people will become a battle cry as the true war begins.
Glad to know my skills won't become obsolete. Not for many years to come. Enjoy the fruits of your success. With your help, the galaxy will become a much different place.